program called print args and we're going to make a C program so we can pile it. We don't have to worry about interpreters at all. This program will just print the arguments that are given to it. So if you remember in a C program, you get arg C and then you get car star star arg V. So we have our arguments, how many there are and the actual arguments themselves. Let's return zero. Let's say this program was a success. And what we can do is we can say four int I equals zero, I less than arg C, I plus plus loop over the arguments and then we can print f let's do uh let's see how to format this arg the number argument colon the value which is a string value of what that argument is with a new line so we can just give it the i here and arg v at spot i and that should be it we're using printf so of course we have to include standard io there we go so let's go ahead compile that program here i'll leave the source code out for people who want to see it Let's compile print args.c, let's call it print args. <laughs> and let's get a syntax error. Let's go ahead and reopen that file and actually set i here instead of just int equals zero, because that's not gonna work. Let's go ahead and recompile that. And hey, that works, that's awesome. So now if we run print args, we get this. If we can run print args with hello world, we get that. We had arg zero, arg zero is always set. It's going to be set to the name of the program itself. And then hello and world, those are two separate arguments. If we put them, in a string with our shell, we will see that we get that as one argument with a space separating it. We can also use bash built-ins here if we want to do something like um, A all the way up to E or something. And then we'll see that we get A, B, C, D, E all as separate arguments. Really cool tricks. Print args is just like a nice way to see now what kind of arguments we're getting. Now that we have this tool, what can we do with it? Let's take that custom shebang program we have here and let's swap this out. Let's swap this out with just print args directly. This is valid. I can just put a relative path here. I don't know if this is gonna be valid on every single operating system, but the ones that I tested on, this worked. So let's do that. The contents of the file, don't even care about that. We're just gonna run print args and we're gonna see what arguments this shebang was given by the operating system. So we run custom shebang, we get print args, and then we get custom shebang, the name of the file. Hey. That's pretty cool. We just get the name of the file. We get it effectively like this. That's how it gets executed. We're not giving it that, the kernel's giving it that, but that's what's happening here. Let's give us some arguments here. Let's say foo. Okay, simple enough. We run our custom shebang. We get print args, we get foo, and then we get the name of the file that we're running. That's awesome, that makes sense. Let's go ahead and add another arg. Print args, foo, bar, bass. Let's add a couple here. Run that. What's happening here? Do you notice something interesting here? Print args is here, but then we have foo bar baz separated by spaces. 